Here we have x cubed minus x squared minus 2x equals to 0. What I want you to do is inspect every term individually. And you would notice that all of the terms have an x in it. So there's a common term or a common factor of x. And if I take out a common factor of x, I'll have x squared in my first term minus x minus 2 equal to 0. Now the solution isn't that hard because we've taken out the x. We can see our trinomial inside of the bracket. So if we factorize the trinomial inside of the bracket, we'll have x and x and the factors of 2 would be 2 and 1 and we're trying to create negative x so it'd be negative 2 plus 1. So x minus 2, x plus 1. And now, because of the cube, we would have three possible solutions for x. Our first solution is to simply make x equal to 0. So if I replace x of 0 here, this will be 0 times these two brackets, and that will result in 0 equal to 0. So therefore, x can be equal to 0. Or our second solution would be to make x minus 2 equal to 0. So therefore, x is equal to 2. Or we'll have the third solution of having the second bracket of x plus 1 equals to 0. Therefore, x is equal to negative 1. So don't get overwhelmed when you see cubes. First, inspect and then decide on your best way forward.